my name is Trish Lockwood. I reside in Violent, New Jersey. And no, this is not like a different day. I basically did a video. <laughs> I'm still up, so yes. I'm wearing the same thing. I don't know if I sit there and had people sit there like, you're wearing the same? No. Um, my days and how long I am up sometimes is um, not at a normal time. <laughs> so sometimes my days are like two days. Uh... I think the the most amount I've basically been up is 40 hours. Um, so, that hasn't happened in a long time, though. Uh, thank goodness. So, um, I'm just recording. The thing is, there are people from Violin, um, uh, Calvary Chapel on, and, and, um, um, uh, Raymond Church, William Clay, Violin Chapel, Calvary Chapel. And, um, they're gonna get it. I don't know how long ago it was, but I recognized they were actually copying me um, and what I wrote in an atheist, in what is titled um, uh, Debate Group, Atheist versus Christian. And they're using principles that I use, words that are unique to my use. Um, I'm not saying that people don't use the word comparative. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and say they use the word comparative. I use that word or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. But they are literally day by day going through all of my memes um, and copying um, um, my statements, um, you know, uh, by principle that is um, from my um, unique use of words and things like that and commentary and then you know they're um basically uh profaning a lot of sacred uh writings because it doesn't line up with their false teachings um so the thing is is that um the thing is i used the whole my principle the other day but i found just not too long ago that somebody is copying me using like comparative um argument i use the term comparative literature I don't know if I'm going to find that. So, um, and that's how I present for people who don't believe in the Bible. Um, and I do not ever, ever teach that people just believe in the Bible without knowing what is in it. So, um, that's ridiculous and foolish. And I don't teach that way. Um, that's, that's not faith. And I basically was told that by, uh, Calvary Chapel or whatever, and, um, as it convinces people, if you don't believe in the Bible, you don't have faith. Well, you know, uh, actually even learning what is in the Bible and obtaining all the information in it, um, is a, a large work. And to sit there and, and get people to read a few things and tell them, and then mix it with your false teachings and claim you have to believe in it, and that's the Bible, um, that is just as bad as the false, uh, as the, yeah, the false Quran, which is actually just another... It'd be a forged Bible that is just as bad as their false teachings behind the pulpit. So, the thing is, is that, um, I'm just going to record this. This is from April 30th, 2019, but I have earlier recordings. I should look under, I actually didn't, I wasn't looking for actually this. Um, I'm actually looking for the use of verses in my debates that I have written many times, um, because they're, they're, they're going through, well, one of them just chose the book of James, um, and they're basically uh, making passive, aggressive attacks towards me, um, and uh, mocking me or whatever. And um, it, it's just like you know they're very ungodly. They're very with church and their false pastors, William Clay and the Eddie Haney. Um, so um, the thing is, is that um, the thing is, I'm anointed by God, and they are not. Okay, and they're. Uh, copying my teachings and phrases of mine and statements of mine. So, I'm just going to record this. This is April 30th. Oops. It's alright. Hold on. Okay, April 30th, 2019. That's not like the only time I use it, but this is basically um, how, I, uh, how I address certain things um, comparing to explaining things about the Bible. So this is a, um, say, well, it says for comparative argument what the Bible said, what the Bible actually says, not arguing whether you believe in the Bible or not. I actually don't care whether you do or don't. Uh, my argument is that the false claims by people who do not know what is in our Bible make up what is not in our Bible that is not. Debunking false claims by atheists and churchian people alike um, who don't know what is in the Bible. The Bible does not record 
at all, but on the contrary, that the world has been populated only through Adam and Eve, which is falsely taught by both of these churches, Raymond Church and um, um, Calvary Chapel. So, my commentary on this is original, so I'm going to go on. Um, that the world has been populated through Adam and Eve and their children. That is a lie. That is not biblically correct. The Bible clearly records that Adam was created uh, on around the third day, and on the sixth day, God created the other nations. Okay? So, um, well, it's not... It may not be clear. It's not like, you know word for word written out like that so you have to discern um be discerning of the scriptures um to teach it um the thing is is uh, the confusion actually comes from the, the false churches and their false teachings of the bible who cannot um discern the word of god um or the scriptures now there's a thing like i said i'm gonna say this you do not have to um know the bible <laughs> to um receive the things of god to know the word of god um i'm going to do another teaching on that so i'm just going to record some things um that i wrote so um this is actually uh, okay Okay, and there's other things. Tithing or stuff by the seat. Okay. This is, um, my articles of faith. With all these garbage articles, like, it's not faith to sit there and claim that, you know, people believe, um, hold on. Oh. I don't know how to um, make this smaller. I don't know how to, um, I don't know why it's not moving. <laughs> so, um, okay, that's not working. I don't even have a move. Uh, I don't know why it's coming up like this. Okay, well, um, okay, I actually want, um, hold on. You know what? I'm just going to take this. It's not even coming up like that either. It's not coming up um, right. I just sit there and set up my system where I can just like pop it on my phone. I don't know how to do that. Sorry, but um, anyway. So, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna make this short. Um, yeah, I just want to put that in there. People are isolating statements of mine. And, um... I just saw a statement. Oh. I'm just going to record this. I'm going to scroll down here and record this. I was actually looking for um, my use of uh, in debate. I know it's on another page. So, because um, they're going over. Uh, um, so, you believe in one God? You do well. Even the demons believe in trouble. I actually never he ever heard anybody teach that. And, of course, they're going through the book. That's their whole thing. Because I basically, manually and personally, uh, discerningly, uh, by the Spirit of God within me, um, selected verses manually out of the Bible that is not commonly taught. A lot of these churches teach these single verses and it's just spread around or whatever and um i do not get my verses or selection by any um articles or anybody taught to me or whatever in all my debates i have used all my verses um 
carefully um, and in context, um, um, discerning what is usable for uh, discussion. Um, so I'm going to go on. I'm just going to record this. Oh, yeah, theology does not exist because no one can study God. False ministers who claim theology are liars and not of God and never claim the true holy God. As if they, that's if they basically, and they all have, all have claimed that theology is a study of God. You cannot study God, sorry. Um, those who go around sitting there claiming um, theology, I'm a theologian, and I only use the word theological. Actually, here's one. I just passed it as I was rolling down. Okay. Um, I'm a theological genius. Theological. Genius simply just means guided. <laughs> I actually spent like a long time actually um, finding the root word of genius. And there's actually a, all these um, things that I had to go through and steps or whatever to find out where it came, came from or what have you. And... Um, and of course, um, uh, and how it's used or whatever is actually quite interesting because, uh, I can't get into that. I'm going to, I'm going to end with this.